Today is going to be a quick tutorial and we are going to create this kind of animation. And it's basically a mix of something that I explained in my previous tutorials. One of them is everything you need to know about gradients. So we're going to apply the knowledge that I explained here and something that I uh, talked about in the voxelized duplicator tutorial. So if you haven't watched those and you don't understand some details, you can just go back here. Let's start. You can set your composition settings here. I'm using just a normal full HD resolution and 30 FPS frame rate. And we are going to create a basic line. So I'm going to click uh, the line tool with Alt or Option key uh, pressed. And for now, we are going to set the stroke to 15. And I'll add some um, beige color just so we can see what's going on. And I'm also going to create a text shape and type of word learn here, center it and set the size to 470. And I'm going to use a new has grotesque font with the black settings. So this font comes with the Creative Cloud uh, subscription. If you don't have this one, feel free to change this. And now we are going to select our basic line and press create a duplicator. And I'm going to use the voxelized distribution. So I'm not going to explain <laughs> the way voxelized distribution works because I already did that in another tutorial. And I'm going to drag our word over here. So now we can turn it off and I'm going to organize everything a little bit. And now we have this setup, but we don't really see the word because we need to uh, increase uh, the size of our voxels. So I'm going to use something like 33. And another thing is that we want to be able to change the length of the basic line. We are going to use an oscillator for that. So click Add Behavior, Oscillator. I'm going to use a minimum size of the line 10 and the maximum 50. And then I increase the time scale to 2 to make it a little bit uh, faster and use a stagger. So we offset uh, the variation of the length in time for each of the duplicates. So in this case, I think two will be enough. So this is what we have right now. And another thing that we want to do is the color blend, the way we used it in the previous tutorial. So I'm going to search in a, for a color blend in a quick add menu. And I'm going to connect a color blend to basic line stroke color. I need to set the colors over here. So we're going to use three colors. And to set the colors, I'm simply drag and dropping the colors into our gradient setup. So right now the gradient is already connected, but we want to change each of the lines separately. So we are going to use again an oscillator for this. And our strength settings can change from 0 to 100. So that's exactly the values that we are going to use. Again, the time scale to 2 and the stagger to 0 0.6. And we are almost done. So right now it looks a little bit boring, I would say. So I want to add a little bit more variation. And the way to do this is to change the sorting of the indices of our duplicator. I'm going to add a sort distribution on top of our voxelize. And instead of horizontal that we are using now, we are going to use distance uh, from centroid. So the way it works is uh, now our indices are distributed from the center of the composition uh, versus from, uh, you know, from this left corner to the right. And that's it. We are done with our animation. This is how it looks now. And if you already purchased Cavalry Guide that I'm sharing right now, you can find the project files for this tutorial and for other tutorials that I'm sharing on my YouTube over here in the project files tab. So if we go into source or author um, page, we can go into tutorial tab over here and find the tutorial that I'm talking about right now. So it's the typography animation and that's the name of my channel. And we can also see uh, all the behaviors and the shapes and utilities, etc., that are used in this tutorial and project file and a little preview. And
and you can download the file over here so just click these three dots and I'll click download I'm going to leave all the information about the behaviors and shapes etc below uh, the tutorial in the description field and also the link for this guide if you'd like to check it out hope you have fun with this and looking forward to see what you create with this tutorial